you so much for sticking with me while I've been gone. I have been crazy busy with work and I was on the company softball team. Our season is over now, but that ate up so much of my time, one to two weeknights a week. And I just couldn't find time to play The Sims 4. Anyway, I am back now. Softball season is over, so I have some more free weeknights. And I decided to build a Blue Bayou house. So this house is inspired by um, Mississippi, the swamp, um, just how I imagine a Bayou house would be. And I guess I should say that I just want to... I feel really bad for all the people in South southern Louisiana who have been victims of torrential flooding due to really, really bad downpour. Like it rained for it over a 48 hour period. It rained something like two feet of, of, of rain, which is crazy. So, uh, actually my work today, we have a disaster recovery team. So I work for a, um, healthcare company and, it was kind of interesting to hear, I mean, I wasn't in on the meeting, but it was very interesting to see them, you know, trying to figure out how they're going to help the people down in Louisiana who need treatment from my company. So that's uh, pretty cool. Anyway, so I, the Bayou house, I guess uh, it's kind of like a, an adult tree house. So there's three stories to this house. Overall, there are four bedrooms and... Uh, one, two, three, four bathrooms, I think. Uh, three bathrooms, three or four bathrooms. Clearly, I did not think about this before I started. <laughs> um, anyway, I just wanted to make kind of a hodgepodge, like the house had been, had been built onto a lot, like each layer was added, it's whoever lives here got richer, and... I did look at pictures on Google for inspiration, so I just Googled Bayou House and... I wanted definitely a water feature on the bottom because, you know, a house is kind of elevated on swamps. And I realize now that I totally forgot to add supports to the bottom. So I will go back and add them um, in the future. So I'm using a new screen recording software. So hopefully my um, videos look a bit more polished and a bit more high definition. Because before my previous software, I couldn't use it in full screen for some reason. So I was using playing The Sims in Windows mode, which wasn't ideal for me. But now I'm back to full screen mode. I also am working on a new introduction. And that's rendering right now. And I, my screen recording software isn't native or it doesn't, Camtasia won't open it. So I have to use um, a different software to encode the screen recording software so overall it is kind of a mess but once I get it going the assembly line running I will have video after video after video hopefully um so I don't know I guess I'm a weird sims 4 player sometimes I can go on like a two or three month hiatus and not even care other times if I don't play three or four times a week I really really miss it Uh, anyway, back to the house. So three layers and the bottom layer ends up being, I guess I should say four layers because the bottom layer is just a base layer with a fountain water feature, whatnot. The second layer is the living layer. So there is a kitchen, a living room, a study and a game room and a bathroom. The third floor, so the floor above that would be the main um, the main bedroom, so there's a master bathroom, a master bedroom with a master bathroom, two child bedrooms, and a, and then a bathroom for the two child bedrooms to share. One's a boy and one's a girl. Uh, and then the third, and then the fourth floor, so the the top floor ends up being a home gym, a music room, uh, a guest bedroom, and then another bathroom for people who use the gym so they have to go downstairs. So. I really think this house is livable and playable and realistic because it has everything you need to live with and also it looks really cool I think being above a water feature. Now I wish of course that you know water could go all the way around so it looked like it was really on water. Maybe in a future expansion we'll get um, like an island pack or a beach pack. Those those were fun in The Sims 3. I really liked like having an island getaway. 
I also, I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but I do really miss um, Seasons. So I originally loved Seasons for The Sims 2. And then when they brought it for The Sims 3, I enjoyed it, but not as much as The Sims 2. Like, it was so much fun to have my Sims um, get sunburned and, you know, almost freeze to death and turn blue. That was really fun seeing the differences between them. Oh, and I love getting them tan. That was really cool getting them tan. So for the kitchen, I'm going for like a kind of rustic look. So this house is meant to be, you know, people who have come into money recently or rather they've over the years as they've gotten money, they've kind of invested in their house and built up and built up and built up. So maybe it started off as the first floor and that was the entire house and then they remodeled it and put on another story and that ended up being, you know, the bedrooms and then they added an office and a living room downstairs anyway so this is like the whole backstory I had built for this house so as I was decorating it decorating it I kind of had that in mind so it's not the highest end appliances or highest end cabinetry but it also isn't the lowest end and I feel like it has a lot of a lot of character so another thing is this house is hmm this house is built on a pretty small lot, so that way I can only build up. You can't build out, which is what I wanted to do. Um, I also considered making this kind of like looking like a boathouse, but I thought that that would be kind of weird. Although I did make a train house, so a boathouse would be possible. So there's not a separate dining room for this house. Um... And I guess I should have intentionally, I should have made one of the other rooms on this floor a dining room, but I didn't. So now I realize there's only two seating spaces, um, but that's okay. There's always space for me model. I had a tough time choosing a floor, um, choosing floors for this because I wanted wood, but there's not really a good like wood deck look. But then I found the gravel and I thought, oh, the gravel works pretty well. I think it accomplishes what it needs to accomplish. I used the the chairs. I think those came with... Um, why am I losing it? The, the pack that came with Granite Falls. Pretty sure those came with the Sims 4 Outdoor stuff pack. Um, but I'm not entirely too sure. And was that a game pack? It probably was a game pack because it included a new world. And then I love looking at... I wanted the room not to be too bright, so I had to turn off the lights to see what it looked like at nighttime. All right, so that is the kitchen slash dining room. So let's start on the living room. It took me a while to find a couch I liked because I wanted something rustic, but I didn't want to use the wood benches, um, the one, that, the same chairs I used for the living room or for the dining room slash kitchen. I didn't want to use those because I didn't think it gave the right feel. That was kind of more woodsy. So I chose this one instead, um, and it has, it still has, I think it has uh, that bayou flavor. Um, so this isn't like a plantation house that you'd find in New Orleans. This is like a bayou house, as I'm sure I've repeatedly said multiple times. So this room I wanted to, there wasn't a lot of, I wanted to put in this room besides the TV, although I start laying plants on like crazy to bring the outside uh, indoors and I realize now that I totally could have turned that into the dining space and just had kind of a combined living dining space but I didn't do that I instead I had fun with a lot of different plants a lot of indoor um, potted plants that was really fun to kind of cram them all in there and make it look very gardening hodgepodgey 
don't know how many overhead lights I used in this. I think I did use wall lights and, you know, standing lamps. I really wanted to get, maybe use a lanterns. I don't know. So I'm just imagining the ride at Disneyland Pirates of the Caribbean because that is that takes place or that ride is in New Orleans Square. So that's kind of where this inf inspiration came from because as you leave uh, the dock or if you will, after you board uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, you get on um, the boats and you go through, uh, not through, you go right next to the Blue Bayou restaurant and uh, the food is not that great and it's pretty expensive anyway. Um, so we... Oh my gosh, I'm losing my train of thought here. Okay, so, moving on. Um, so anyway, the Blue Bayou restaurant, you pass it, and then there's um, an uh, a puppet, uh, animatronic character, and he's playing the banjo, and you kind of hear, like, the banjo, and it, it that was that's really iconic for me. So I wanted to still have that feel. Like, this is a house you'd see, you know, right before you start the ride as you're passing the Blue Bayou restaurant, which is kind of why it's called the Blue Bayou House, because it is... It, it is a Bayou house. That's definitely where the inspiration came from. And I should really stop saying that. Uh, so this is the game room. And I did use the outdoor um, the outdoor stuff. Oh my gosh. The outdoor stuff chess table. And I used that really pretty picture from uh, the Sims 4 Dine Out. That was That's so pretty. I love it. I would probably use it in every single my... I will would probably use it in every single one of my builds from now on it's cherry blossoms gorgeous so you'll see me saving here multiple times especially after each room and that is because the original build i done i did all the outside i started doing the interiors and the house was configured completely differently and then the game just stopped working so then I started again and I got to the, I got through the kitchen, I saved it. And that so this is what this is what you see now. I got to the kitchen, I saved it, and I did the living room and again, after I did the living room, it crashed on me, which is very strange because it's very reminiscent of uh, for me of The Sims 3. But I just attribute it to maybe my screen recording software, I too much going on in the background. Anyway, I, it was fine after after this build. Like, I haven't had any more problems with any more of my builds so far. And I've just been playing around with builds. I haven't really recorded any other builds besides this one. Um, right now, I have a couple of ideas in mind. I don't want to spoil them or share them in case they don't come to fruition. So I'm going to hold off on any spoilers for now. Okay, so at this point, I had gone to the bathroom on the main level, and I really wanted to get a four-piece bathroom, but it ended up only being a three-piece bathroom. And the reason why it looks like I'm building so, so slowly, even though this clip is sped up pretty quickly, is because I was watching the Olympics. I love the Olympics. I love watching the Olympics. I like watching track and field. I like watching sports. I like, or duh, I like watching gymnastics, basketball, um, field hockey. I watch as much as I can. Um, I like streaming the events live. I don't like watching primetime. And if you've ever streamed gymnastics live and then tried to watch it on primetime, it's completely different coverage. I mean, they make it seem like the scores, you know, only take a few minutes or a few seconds um, after the performances in the primetime version, but like in the live version, they can take a few minutes. And also, the commentators are different. And one of the commentators in the primetime, the guy, is so, so mean. He's. I mean, these are world-class athletes, just like all of the athletes at the Olympics. But, you know, he's just, he is judge and jury of, of the commentators. Oh, that's a tenth of a point deduction. Oh, that's a three-tenths arch there. Oh, that steps up, that steps a full deduction. 
full deduction, the start values. And I mean, just like, can we please just watch for, you know, for the beauty of the sports? Although at the same time, he is kind of funny um, because, <laughs> because he's so quiet. It's kind of like golf commentators. So I had the Olympics on the other day, actually, and it was golf. And I don't normally watch golf. Like I never watch golf unless I happen to be at my parents' house um, and my dad has it on. Or if we go to um, my boyfriend's dad's house or my, yeah. He, he watches it too, but he mutes it while we're there. Um, but my dad won't mute it. Anyway, he is so, it's so funny how the commentators, I don't understand. Why do they whisper? It's not like the golfers can hear them. Oh, he's lining up a shot. Is that three iron going to be enough? I don't know. Here's the shot. It's good. So uh, it's pretty crazy what they do. Anyway, um, so I feel like common sports commentators are pretty funny. Um, one of my favorites, I shouldn't digress here. This is a master bedroom. Uh, I decided to go with a blue and yellow theme. And I realized there's no door, so I'm putting the door and rearranging the furniture. I didn't intend for the that bedroom to be that shape with the master bathroom i actually built two separate rooms when i was putting on the second um living space uh living floor and i realized oh it's like that just works perfectly for a bedroom although it is pretty long and narrow so i actually just noticed um the action icon in the center of my recording I probably explained this earlier, but I tried a new screen recording software because my screen recording software I was using was getting kind of, I don't know, it was being funky and I couldn't record in full screen, but with Action I can. So if you want a screen recording software, I recommend Action and then I use Camtasia for editing, which it's pretty handy. I also feel like my quality of video is also higher with action. So when I uploaded this house, I actually went in and dimmed all the lights. I wanted the lights to be pretty dim and it to be a rather dark house at night. That's just because I don't like the super, super, super bright lights on the outside and I sometimes the lights are a bit too realistic I mean a bit unrealistic I should say like a little table lamp is not going to produce a ton of light at the same time though you sometimes you want houses that are very bright and there's just nothing available so for the two kids bedrooms I used a lot of the kids room stuff um pack and it was a lot of fun to use it I haven't used it in a build before and I had a lot of fun configuring it and kind of giving like a teenage boys room but I would maybe a tween boys room do tween boys exist I know tween girls exist right so like 9 to 12 is a tween um, you're kind of in between like ch like a little girl and a child or I'm sorry a little girl and a teenager so you don't need you know super I don't know so I feel like I made two tween rooms like there's still aspects of you know little kid stuff but there's also, you know, they're definitely becoming teenagers. All right, so this is the girls' room, and I was very stereotypical and went with pink. Someday I will do a girl's room that's not all pink. I don't know how I like this recording software actually. Now that I'm looking at it, it seems to be skipping around a lot and like you can't really see me place things. Uh, okay, you can. I guess I'm just doing it kind of slow. Again, probably because I'm watching the Olympics. I 
I liked the those chairs actually. I think they would be cool. I wish they came in like a, you could use a you could maybe build a sectional with them, like a sectional couch. Um, I really like sectional couches. I wanted my next build. I think actually is going to be a mid-century modern build. I am thinking I will do that, which is like 60s retro. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of patterns that fit that motif, but I will try my best. And I already have an idea for like the structure of the house and the design of the house. Um, I get a lot of inspiration driving around. I'm going through different neighborhoods just on my way to different places. And it's kind of odd because I didn't really expect that to happen. Um, like there's obviously a lot of New England houses and colonial houses. There's also Cape houses, which is like Cape Cod style. They also have quite a few houses that look like they were built in the 60s and 70s. Um, and then they have, they don't really have houses like I'm used to in California. Like there's no... I haven't really seen any Spanish architecture. I've seen a few two-door houses. Um, it's just very inspirational. And these houses are massive on huge plots of land, and they cost, you know, upwards of, like, $3 million. Uh, I doubt I will ever be able to afford one. Um, sometimes I want to knock on the door of those houses and ask people, like, oh, like, what do you do, and how do I get that job? It's ridiculous how big these houses are. Not that I want a big giant house but they're nice houses I actually have a recording somewhere I did um, an apartment build um, of my apartment I just have not um, edited it and haven't uploaded it yet so maybe I will do that too and I built it mm, months and months and months ago so maybe I'll revisit that All right, so that was the gym, and this is the music room. I wasn't really sure what to do with these rooms up here. Potentially, you can turn them in, into another master bedroom or just a hobby room or anything you want, but I already have a game room, and I just wanted a music room. So it's kind of a music and yoga room. Actually, my parents just sold my childhood house, um, and the people who bought it, which is really funny, small town, but it's not really that small of a town. The people who bought it are friends with my best friend, uh, my best childhood friend. So I still hear about, you know, the different, like, what's the going-ons in, in that house. And one of the bedrooms, I think my older sister's bedroom, she turned into her yoga room, which I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's pretty funny that it's now a yoga room. So I used a lot of the spa, t spa day fixtures in the bathroom. And this bedroom, I really, really love. I love the simplicity of it. I love that it's cozy. and s I don't really love that it's cozy and small. But I love that it's, you know, it has all the essentials. It's perfect for, like, an Airbnb room, I think. Like, that would be the Airbnb bedroom. All right. So I'm just fix... I am just fixing up the the upper level now I didn't want the full um porch like on the on the level below so now I'm just adding landscaping and really this was just a hodgepodge of throwing plants all over the place um, just to make it look as swampy as possible I also add some fountain features and some lights. And I think it turned out pretty well, actually. Again, it would have been better if I could get, you know, water all the way around the property. But I really think that it gets the job done. And 
then I was looking for a border, but nothing really worked. So here I'm just starting the fountains. And again, I just kind of threw them in there. Not like no real rhyme or reason to where I put them. I just wanted to give some unique features for underneath the house. And then I just add some lighting outside. And I check to see how it looks at night. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to screenshots. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.